Yes. Good evening, my dear students. Welcome in the in our class. Today, you want to see about the topic known as culture, civics from four. Yes. First of all, we, should, we need to know the meaning of culture and the aspect of culture. After looking at the aspect of culture, we will see the importance of culture and the characteristics of culture. So, let us continue by starting with looking at the, 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 the definition of culture. Culture, this can be defined as a total way of life or the totality of ways of life of people as they struggle to live, to live and develop. Culture, in a brief, we can explain that culture is the, is the way how people are living in a certain community by communicating one person and another person or the way they are dressing or the way or the style of eating and the other thing. That is all what we call culture. And the culture is there because of language. Language identify culture of a particular area. Example, here at Mtwara, we have Makonde language. So Makonde language is a language that identifies the culture of Makonde people. When you move to another region, then you will find their languages and the identi they have their identity. And the, the main identity of a certain particular, particular area is the language and the dressing. Even types of food that they use in their daily lives. So, after looking at the definition of culture, or after understanding the meaning of culture, so let us see how culture, how culture exists in different aspects. Culture includes all aspects of human life, such as tradition, briefs, arts, education, and technology. So this all, is the element of culture, is what identify a certain culture of people. Briefs, so briefs, this show how these people live in a certain culture. Example, in the briefs, you can find that people are just maybe are breathing in, in a, the, according to their fathers, or people breathe in Christianity, or people breathing in the music, in the Muslims religion. Arts, at this also is the another what identify a certain culture of people. Example, people at Mtwara here, always others they have arts of dancing the music, others are involving in, in fishing, so they have different talents and the different arts in their daily lives. Education and the technology. Technology also is the culture of a certain place. Example, by looking at the Western nations. Western nations have developed, developed too much in technology. So their culture, they believe that by using higher technology, they, can, they could produce more. Education. Example, we have two types of education. That is formal and informal education. Formal education is from Western Western nations, but informal education is from Africa. So, before the coming of the whites, we have our own culture, whereby our fathers and our elders used it to, to transform knowledge from one person to another person by, by training how to live in the community. But after the coming of the whites, they came up with the formal education until that that kind of education of which we are using until today. So, after looking at this, so let us see the aspect of culture. Culture exists into two parts, which includes material aspect and the intellectual aspects. Material aspect of culture, this refers to the material or object that can be seen or touched. So, material culture all material aspect of culture. This involves all material that can be seen in the, our naked eyes or can be touched. So that is all about it, material culture. It includes arts, briefs, furniture, etc. That is all about the material culture. So intellectual aspect of culture, that is the second aspect of culture. 
This refers to the achievements or attained by people in education. So material aspect of culture, this is the aspect of culture that is attained after a person to attend the class or to get informal, informal education from parents or from, from elders. Where this language, where this, where this education help, help he or she to transform from, help he or she to transform from one stage to another stage in the community. So, my dear students, this here we have looked about the definition of culture with the aspect of culture. Also, in the case of intellectual aspect of culture, there is ideas, language, and literature. So when you talk about language, this is all about the medium of communication. So this language may be there to, to, to join together or to unite together people of a different community, whereby language are the means of communication is there to to change ideas and to communicate one after another and to understand each other. Also, we have the so-called literature as an intellectual aspect of culture. Literature, this refers to the this refer to the use of knowledge in case of writings or arts or drawings. So literature is the use of language artistically to present the ideas from one person to another person or from one mind to the community. So that is that is was about the intellectual aspect of culture. After looking at that, let us let us look the importance of culture in the community or in our lives. Culture provides education from one generation to another generation. As we have said, culture is a totality way of life. So through that way, people are living in one place or in the single community. So culture is there to provide education from one generation to another generation. How these people can be transformed one generation to another generation, it is called culture. Because the elders is there to, to teach their children or to teach their, their grandsons, their granddaughters by using different ways, either by using myth or by using stories, so that they can guide them and to ensure that those children inherit the better thing from their father or their elders or their grandmother or grandfather so that they can behave better in the community. The second is that culture acts as the identity of a particular community. Culture is what identify people of a certain place. Take an example here in Tanzania. People have their different culture, but people from a certain region or from a certain zone, they, they are identified according to the way of dressing or the way of speaking or the way of eating. That is what you will say that culture acts as an identity of a particular people. Take example, take example of people from Kagera region. People from Kagera region, they prefer to eat bananas. People from from Mbea, they prefer to eat banana, but the people from Sukuma, Sukuma Land, they prefer to eat rice. So that is an identity of people from a particular community. Example, people from the southern zone, example, Linde and Mpwara, they prefer to eat fish from the ocean compared to the people who are coming from the, the the lakes on there who are preferring to eat sato, sangara, because they is a, is a kind of food that is available there. So that is that kind of food so identifies the particular people and their culture. So point number three, cultural activities enable people to utilize their resources. It is true because culture is there to guide or to help people to, to live in the certain community. So through, through attending different cultural activities, people receive education through either narration or attending in the class or attending the meeting. So people, as they receive that education, 
they get the knowledge the way how they can utilize the, the available resources in the community so that they can bring development. Point number four, the culture promotes unity and cooperation in the society. As we know, we Africans, oh, we Africans, an example here in Tanzania, by looking skuma people and the other and the, and the other communities. But uh, let me use this Kuma people because I have you witnessed it more than one times. That uh, Skuma people they have they have the tendency of of joining together during their agricultural activity. They inform the whole members of the community so that they can they can unite unite and to simplify agricultural activities by using shoulder to shoulder so that they can finish the the they can finish agricultural activities on time. And they have been using cooperation, cooperation in their society so that they can solve problems or they can help each other even to even during the building, even during the preparations of the bricks so that they can build a, they can build a, a good a, a, a modern house. They use shoulder to shoulder to cooperate together. So that is all about the culture. So according to their culture, they have been getting success because of unity. Point number five, cultural works entertain people. It is true, culture works entertain people because even here in Tanzania, we look there is a difference in musician. Musician, they use our, our culture to create a good song, a conducive song and romantic song or another song it can you can find that the songs entertain people people dance people enjoy because of because of our culture so through culture people create different things that make people to, to enjoy people create things that people that people make people to to celebrate so culture is all about it all about that Point number six, culture is the prestige of the community. Any community has its own culture. So by doing, by doing that, it, it, we find that it, it becomes the enjoyment, it becomes the, it, it makes people to enjoy, it becomes the prestige of the community, that a certain community has its own culture. Even that culture, Make people to be identified that he or she is coming from a certain culture. Looking from like a, looking like a musician, different musician here in Tanzania. Take an example. We have Diamond Platinum. We have <coughs> Harmonize. Harmonize has been using Makonde language to, to Makonde language to, to create music. So through that music, so through that music, he used that language to identify or to, to use as a prestige of the community of Mtwara that they have their peculiar language, that is Akonde language. After looking that, my dear students, let us see now the characteristics of culture. What is the characteristics of culture in the community? The first point is culture is dynamic. How culture is dynamic? Culture is dynamic and not static. Culture is dynamic due to the different factors. It can be, it can be facilitated due to the migration of people from one person, from one place to another place, or people, may, or people may decide to change because of the new generation. As the coming of the new generation, the the, the culture change become in another stage. So. That is all about the dynamic of the dynamic of culture. Culture is not static; always it changes from one time to time. Culture is adaptive. Culture is adaptive. This means that a certain culture, a, a certain culture of a particular place, change or adaptive according to the coming of new people or the shifting of people from one place to another place. As people move from one place to another place, they adapt a culture of a certain community and they lift their, their culture. Point number three, culture is interactive. Culture is interactive, which is true. This is true because today now we see the students at the university, they are coming from different countries. But when they meet, they they find that they use an, the same language. So through using the same language, you find that people 
of different community, people of different culture, they have come together and they have decided to use the same the same language. So after those people coming from one place to to, the, to another place to agree to use the same language, so that is that is the product that is that that product creates interactive of culture. Point number four: culture is learned. Culture is learned. It is true. As we are learning here, you can find that you don't have you don't you don't know your culture but according to the according to to the syllabus or according to learning or according to interaction of according to interaction of people from one person to another place you find that you have learned a culture point number 5 culture is shared yes you share culture as you meet with your friends or as people yes culture is learned Kasha is mainly due to the student to attend the class or students to meet with the people from different, different area. Kasha is shared. Yes, Kasha is shared. This is due to the situation whereby people from different area, they come into the contact and they, they, share, their, they share their ideas. Each person has his, his or her own culture. So through that interaction, you find that you share your culture. Point number six, culture is complex to judge. Culture is complex to judge. Culture is not simple, but it is complex because, as it is complex because it is made up with different people. Culture of a certain place is composed with different people from different areas, and the culture has a lot of things. Culture has language, culture has norms, culture has craft, food, education, arts, and everything. That is, that is all about it the complexity of, of, of culture. Thank you for listening.